probably like the second time in my life where someone actually entered my stuff like whether it's my vehicle or now this storage unit and just you know stole from me Y'all look at Carla. She is on her sewing machine for the first time. Y'all, when I tell y'all, I couldn't catch her reaction because I was working, but she he was like yelling. Oh, this is really fancy. And saying, woo, this thing is different. What this thing fancy. Yeah. Saying it's fancy. What are you doing right now, baby? Um, I am prepping to um do an ottoman cover up. Uh-huh. So I'm doing like an upholster. I see um, you have uh, this yeah, thing right here. To the ottoman. Well, I, I'm trying to understand, where did you get this from? Um, I think she found that at TJ Maxx. Oh, and you're just covering it up. Yeah, because we don't like the colors. Oh. Yeah. That makes sense though. You buy like something like this cheap and then you cover it up. Yeah, and then like you can always... You can change the cover-ups. It don't have to be the same color. So, okay, what is this screen right here? So, this is the screen that tell you um, the stitch. Like, if you want to select your stitch, a different stitch. Uh -huh. And you just use the arrow. This is the straight stitch. Wow. So, it's just the different stitches that you can do. This thing is fancy. How does it feel to be back at it? Um, it pretty feel pretty dope. <laughs> What is up, you guys? Good morning. Um, we actually had a really good workout today. Um, Carla, she's currently in the shower. And me, I'm getting everything ready for us to record. Got the ring light set up. Got the iPad down here. Now, later on, either later on today, um, maybe later on today, I'm thinking, we're going to have to see what's going on with our storage unit because Carla she received a phone call uh, the phone call was um, from the lady uh, who who runs the uh, the storage facility and she was just saying that she noticed that our lock was missing on our storage unit and the first thought that came to my head was you know maybe we were moving too fast and maybe we forgot to put the lock back on there but what she said is that they do runs um i think daily or weekly carla did she say they do runs daily or weekly okay so they do walk arounds daily in printouts every two weeks and when they did the printout they noticed that our lock was on there last friday but then recently our lock wasn't on there so we have to go up there to see um what's going on see if they if they stole from us or, or what's going on you know what i'm saying she said it was still some stuff in there but she don't know how much stuff we had so we won't know until we go up there and see so that's something we're gonna have to do Hey, Noel. Um, I got a call last week that I needed to come in um, for my storage. My name is Carla Gramsley because someone had cut my lock. I have not had a chance to make it down there, but I was trying to see if I could, um, well, my wife is on the way so that she can take care of it. And I was wondering if you all would be able to assist her with it. Yeah, we should be able to help her, no problem, since you've called and gave me a heads up that your wife is coming out. What's her name, honey? Nick, N-I-C, okay. Rochelle, R-I-C-H-E-L-L-E. -E. Okay, coming to investigate. And we are going to give you a free lock, um, since mm. it was cut. That's not something that was your issue. 
Um, so we are going to give you a free lock to um, compensate you for the one that was cut. Um, we are, and I will also give her the um, case number and such in case there are items missing and you do want to pursue it. Okay. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. No problem, honey. And uh, just make sure she comes into the office. Um, that way I can go out there and take that lock off for her. Okay. I will. Thank right. you. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. I'm glad they told us that they're getting a lock because... <laughs> that first girl didn't tell me that. Maybe they didn't even realize they was going to do it. I was going to go to Walmart and go on. Yeah. What's up, y'all? So, yes, you did hear correctly. Uh, all this happened last week. So, yes, um, we kind of paused on recording for the vlog because some other things came up. And... Now, I'm getting ready to go over there to see what's really going on with our storage. Now, what I have heard is that since the pandemic, there has been an increase in break-ins and robberies and stuff like that, which, I mean, that's not a surprise because if you got a lot of people that's suffering and struggling, then um, that is really, I think, one of the main causes of people stealing and, and doing things. I think that's what initiated just starving and trying to figure out a way to survive of course some people take it overboard and they do too much but that's not for everybody the perfect time to discover new talent is now and one of the perfect places to learn is on skillshare skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creatives and curious people the cool thing about skillshare is that it offers memberships which means you have time to explore different projects without paying for separate classes. Skillshare offers classes for real life, classes like web development, graphic design, marketing. The next class that I am most interested in is going freelance, building and branding your own success, which is taught by Justin Gignac. Justin mentions the fact that we live in a freelance world more than ever and teaches the essentials on how to seek out the work you want and draw back work to you as a full-time entrepreneur. Now what we are able to do for our viewers the first 1,000 people to use the link in our description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So I hope you take advantage of the opportunity and this brings value to your life. Now let's get back to the vlog. Let's see what we got. Hi, hon. Give me just a second. I'm sorry. Oh, you fine. This has the case number and the detective. Um, if there's anything missing, that's right. That right there is where you'll add it on there. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And it's ended. Here is your lock. We've got a brand new round lock for you. Thank you. Um, you want to follow me through the gate? Uh huh. Um, that, do you know the gate code and everything you've been on property? Yeah. Now the only thing that would like I'm not I'm not really worried or concerned right now. But um if I was a truck driver on the road, if I had very valuable things that I just didn't keep with me in my truck and then to get that phone call that someone broke into my um storage unit, I would probably be like really frustrated. <laughs> but um we didn't really have like a lot of stuff in there. We just had like a um, refrigerator, microwave, stuff like that. You see, it's gated and everything. That's what's so crazy about it. You know, you got to put a code to get in. So it's somebody who probably had a unit here and been plotting or something. You know, it's crazy. I 
Mm -hmm. I didn't take the refrigerator. The microwave. I think it was a big bag here where I had a lot of electronics and stuff in there. Like just little gadgets and gizmos. That's missing, but <laughs> I can't remember what was in there. I almost feel like I need to go to like an old vlog to see what was here <laughs> um, compared to what's in here now. But it's definitely, uh, I think, a few things missing. I don't think we would have left this refrigerator right here. So they definitely been in here. They probably came and saw that sewing box. I'm surprised they didn't take that either, though. Oh, there's nothing in here. That's why. Yeah, I would say they, they got us for some stuff. Uh, like little gizmos and gadgets. Cause you know, I keep a lot of, I like electronics. I had a bag uh, full of it with just different things in there. I think they took that. I guess the big stuff they didn't take. They were probably trying to find something like small that they could maybe sell on maybe like Amazon or on the street or something like that. Damn, they can even close our damn drawer back. Cause we we wouldn't we didn't leave it like this. Y'all saw us clean it up and had it real neat. So it's just a feeling. I this is probably like the second time in my life where someone has like actually entered my stuff. Like whether it's my vehicle or now on this storage unit and just you know stole from me. And it just makes you just like you know it make you feel really violated. Like. Like, damn, you bold as hell. You gonna come in my stuff and steal my stuff. You know what I'm saying? But with, with everything that's going on right now in the world, I'm just thankful that I'm healthy and that I'm still alive and that um, that I'm not in a place where I feel like I have to try and steal or, or anything like that. Because, you know, I don't know what these people are going through, where why they got so creative. And, and I'm looking at these locks. You know, like we all kind of have similar locks. As if they uh <laughs> they don't hit up a few people. Yep, this right here is where they um I guess when they were going through here, they pulled the clothes out and set them over here while they were going through. Okay, so this is how I feel about the situation. Um, at this point, I really don't even know what's missing from the storage. Um, and because it's not, I guess, apparently that big of a deal, I don't think it's going to be worth, you know, going through the whole insurance, filing an insurance claim and all that stuff. Um, but I'll talk to Carla about it to see what she wants to do. Um, she's probably going to be the same way. But, um... It is what it is, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, I see they got a camera right there. <laughs> Damn, y'all didn't have a camera? Well, I guess um, it don't matter because if someone's going to the cameras, they probably can't tell if they're breaking in there or not. They probably just look like they were just opening up, but surely they got a camera pointing this way to our storage, but still, it don't, that don't even matter. It is what it is, guys. Um, hey. Hey, honey. Hey. How's it going, honey? So, so. Okay, so let me tell you about the storage. Okay. When I went in there, I could see how stuff was... Because we didn't leave... Did we leave the refrigerator pulled out? No. we. Oh, you know, we pushed that stuff back. 
Okay, yeah. So they definitely went through our stuff. Um, if they stole anything, it would probably be like some little gizmos and gadgets that I had or something like that. But they didn't steal the refrigerator or the microwave or, you know, they went through your clothes. Um, in the Bastards. <laughs> Rumbling through my drawers. Yeah, they... <laughs> that motherfucking savage. Yeah. I mean, I guess they... Maybe they was looking for, like, some small, expensive stuff that they could sell or get, like, a quick sell off. What? I wonder if my key ring was in there Sierra gave to me. And where? It was in this little, um... It was, like, a little jewelry thing. Oh, you had a jewelry box in there? Yeah. Oh, I... I they may have stole that. Where was the jewelry box at? In the drawer. the drawer. Yeah, because they went through the drawer. They even pulled the refrigerator out to look behind the refrigerator just to make sure it wasn't nothing like behind the refrigerator. Well, damn. I know, right? So, she gave me the insurance papers, um, like if you wanted to file a claim. Uh, I didn't see anything as far as worth me going through that whole process, but of course I said I would talk to you. So, if you wanted to, you know push the issue she gave me the phone number to the detective and everything okay yeah it'll remind you you don't really need a lot of more fish because you know what it is you know what it should be like you never needed that approval don't be validation you live it in your truth only when you feel it that's why i'm